Hi there. Uh, welcome to my laboratory. This is something a little bit different. This is a really cool thing that I that I saw uh, on the internet on YouTube. This is a device that was designed and with a lot of thought and research by a fellow called Cool Inventor, and uh, he's not getting the recognition or belief or credibility that he deserves for this really cool thing. This is a flashlight of the mini maglite type. This particular one is a Brinkman brand mini maglite clone and uh, I just happened to have it lying around. It was um, corroded on the inside from a leaky battery so it was no longer usable as a flashlight which is perfect and I found that the dimensions of this silly thing are just coincidentally also perfect for this for this job. Probably better than an actual uh, maglite brand maglite. This is a six millimeter airsoft air gun, single shot air gun with amazing power. It shoots, uh, uh, I, I made this one to shoot a standard six millimeter airsoft plastic pellet. Um, cool Inventor's original design is for a standard BB caliber 177, but because of the way I built this with a little bit of modification, this one can actually have the barrel assembly interchanged you can make different barrels for different calibers for this one, for my version here, because the barrel assembly is not glued into the chamber, as you'll see uh, in the still photos of the assembly. What I want to show here is that the thing actually does work, and it's pretty damn powerful. I'm surprised. Uh, okay, so I've got uh, a Canada Dry can set up there as a target, and what I'm going to do is uh, put the camera on a tripod, and then I'll pump this thing up with uh, a standard mountain bike pump. It takes, I don't know, prob it's probably actually full on the first stroke, but I give it about two strokes with two or three strokes with the pump. Uh, and then I'll load the projectile just by dropping it into the breech and then I'll shoot the can with it um, live on camera. So stand by while I put the camera on the tripod and pump up the, um, pump up the flashlight. Okay, uh, wear safety glasses when you do this because, you know, this the flashlight could explode or the end piece could come flying out or you, the ricochet could hit you in the face or whatever. But anyhow, uh, here's the bike pump. I hope the camera is getting this. I can't really tell on the monitor. All right, so I'll lock it in place. And then, I'll, then I'll, I, I want to hold it so it doesn't fly off the pump. But one... Two, and then take it off the pump, okay, and then I'll take the little projectile and drop it in the breech, and then it's fired by pushing the button on the valve, so here we go. <laughs> okay, so let me retrieve the can. Man, oh man, look at that, it didn't, didn't puncture the can. But it made a hell of a dent in that sucker. That's that's the one shot. I've shot it a couple of times. But that's that's the one I just fired just now. Look at that. Alright, so... <laughs> I myself... 
um, uh, I'm amazed by the power of the flashlight air gun. Now, um, I just used the plastic tube and and the um, six millimeter caliber because I wanted to see if it would work like that. If I used a 177 caliber BB caliber, which I think is 4.5 millimeter uh, tube, then I would put a little magnet in there to hold a BB in place, right? So that you could pump it up, drop the BB in there, and it would stick where the magnet is until you actually fired it. Uh, that would that would mean it wouldn't fall out if you had to aim it downward. Okay, so uh, here's the disassembly. There's the barrel, and uh, what I did was I just I took it and I mounted it. Oops, there went the front glass piece. I mounted the barrel to a, a synthetic cork. I wouldn't use a real cork here, but a synthetic wine cork, cut and shaped to fit and fit just a slight bit proud in the front part of that flashlight and then you put the well I dropped the lens but you put the lens with a hole in it and then this guy front, front face on there and then the back part of the flashlight or the battery compartment screws on there and then that compresses that little piece of cork down like that and holds it in place so it won't come out the barrel has to be glued to the inside of the cork and then on the other end of the flashlight you just uh, take all the all the guts out of the flashlight, and you take the end cap and drill it, and then use a standard uh, car tire tube valve stem with all the rubbers stripped off. I just went down to the local car uh, store, drove or a tire store, drove around to the back, and picked up a handful of these things. They cut them off and discard them when uh, when they change tires. All right. <laughs> And then I, then what I did was I just filed it down just a little bit to to make the valve pin proud enough so that it would be easy to actuate to push to both fill and trigger the thing. And then uh, the uh, piston that I used, the pistons that I used are little uh, doorstop tips. Okay. So I found this first one I tried, I took off too much material and it was too loose, so the thing didn't work. It actually has to be a fairly tight fit in there. And I just lubricated it a little bit with uh, Vaseline. And Bob's your uncle. Thank you for watching.